Okay, I'm just getting loaded up and uh, waiting for Jesse to show up. And we're gonna be heading over to Paul's house over in Los Osos. We've got an early flight tomorrow out to Louisiana. We're gonna meet up with the Fish Village team. We're gonna be out there fishing for redfish, drums, whatever we can find. As you can see, I typically have two kayaks here. One's missing. The missing kayak is already in Louisiana. Mike Ponce from Fish Village already headed out. Uh, he hit up a few places like over in Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, all the way out to Louisiana where he's at currently right now. And we'll be meeting up with that group tomorrow uh, when our flight lands at 2.50. Uh, it'll be myself, Alex, Paul, and Jesse on this flight. Stay tuned. I'm glad I wore my uh, glad I wore my winter uh, flip flops. <laughs> it's a huge airport. I'm trying to find uh, Gate C. We'll get there. We got two hours to kill. So they told us gate C38, which you have to take a tram and go across the airport. We got 30 minutes to board and they changed it to B37 now. So we got to go get a tram, go back to where we came from and try to get on our plane. bumpy landing but everything was pretty good the flight was packed though Bailey's taking us up so we're gonna make our way out of this uh, airport hit up Billy and make our way to Venice Louisiana this guy with this luggage it's all fancy so here we go on our way Brian. Billy. Billy. Oh. Oh, man. Alex. Billy. Billy. If you're not rubbing, you ain't racing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Brian. What's up, man, Alex? Nice to meet you. I'm Jesse.
Here we are, Port Sulphur, Louisiana, where we will call base camp for the next five days. Quick check on the kayaks and they all made it in one piece. That was good to see. Everybody quickly gets settled and begins to prepare our camera gear. While we do that, we are gonna get acquainted with the rest of the team. For the most part, we all know each other pretty well. So mainly we're just gonna catch up and BS and then enjoy some pulled pork sliders for our first dinner in Louisiana. As much as we all like to have fun and enjoy the small things in life, we also know what we're here for and that's to fish the hell out of these waters. So after dinner, we got down to business with our captain's meeting led by Mike Ponce, owner of Fish Village, and Ivy Harris, Fish Village team captain and Louisiana right, Lee coordinator. First of all, thank you. Um, the idea that this was actually gonna happen um, wasn't so sure up until seriously about a week ago. Um, so you guys are all here for a reason because you have either been a part of Fish Village's journey or we want you to be a part of Fish Village's journey. So either way, you've either you've already done something with us or we're really excited about having you guys be here. So that meant that some of the, some of you guys from Pro Staffer's perspective, that some of you guys just professionals in the industry, <laughs> the idea that we're all here um, doing this is it's unreal to me. So. Um, this would not have happened if it wasn't for Ivy. Uh, Ivy basically said, we're going to change what we do, and we did. And so as a result, we're all here. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, there you go, Ivy. It's, it's, a, it's a big deal, guys, because the COVID's really impacted everybody, right? And some people can't even put food on their tables. So I wasn't sure if we were ever to be able to keep doing what we want to do. Um, but you guys are here making sure that we do. So the sappy side of me is saying thank you. That means everything to me. California guys, you had to go through the extra effort to go through all the bullshit at the airport. You guys had to drive down to drop off all your shit um, and then drive eight hours back. Just literally, I, I saw you guys for like 35 minutes. Uh, so that was nuts. So thank you. Um, that's really about it. That I'll, All I want to say, I'm going to talk about the gear a little bit, but I want Ivy to really like throw it down right now. So it's a Go for it, man. We always have to talk about safety. Um, you know, it may not be your preference, but you know, you are going to be required to wear PFDs the entire time you're on the water here. So that's not that's not a question. That's not a request. That's just how it's going to go down. All right. So early mornings, especially tomorrow, just so we get the flow going. Um, the, the anticipation is that there's going to be a uh, bow fishing trip tomorrow night. Um, so what we'll do is we get off the water and the kayaks, bring those back here and then proceed to prep the people who are going to go on the boat fishing trip tomorrow night. So, and then the last thing that we have is we're going to give you additional gear packs that we have for you guys. So, um, they're all going to be, uh, they're all identical. I'll say that at this point. And what I'll do after that, after we get those distributed to everybody is I'll come up and I'll kind of give you a quick idea of what each one of them are. But I also want to add to that is people who have been here before, people who understand redfish versus people who may or not or whatever, it's still fishing. At the end of the day, if you pay attention to what we tell you, you will be successful, all right? So that's the key. The key is for all of us to come together. No question is a stupid question, all right? So at the end of the day, I'm still learning. I'm sure all of you are still learning in your fisheries and it can be intimidated to come to a brand new place far, far away or whatever and make something happen. But we're, we're here to make sure that we, you know, as a team get this done and we're all successful. Are we tracking? Yep. All right.
All right, we finally got all the kayaks unloaded, rigged. We're out here just filming around, filming everyone launching. Lots of different kayaks, lots of cool people, all sharing the same passion, and I'm stoked to be here. It's a little windy today. Hopefully it'll die down, but I doubt it. If anything, it's gonna spike up a little more, but it should be a good time. <laughs> I barely had time to sit down my camera and uh, literally just, I didn't even cast, I just dropped it in its face. Like it's already hanging out on the stringer. Show! Yeah, man. I got this on that second cast, man, because you're looking right at the wind when you see them. You're looking right at the sun when you see them. Then they spook. But they're only spooking like a few feet. Yeah. And if you just, one. if you got the nerves right, you could make that second cast and get on them. Nice work, man. That's keeper for sure. Faux show. to one time that's on the bugs bro yeah i got the hook set look at that i'm pretty sure that's a keeper nice oh that's a keeper yeah. that's about that's about a uh, 21. no no yeah like i i called 20 some... 21 and a half 20 and a half no 21. <laughs> you're 20. Right. on the dot 21. on the dot There you go. Yeah. A little Louisiana redfish, about 21. Nice eating size right there. Freaking throw 
road and it comes back at me. Oh shit! That was a red. Boof! I can tell you that for sure now.
<laughs> nice, man. Oh, oh yeah, oh, dude, nice. big one. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Yeah, damn. Flip him in. Is that a four? Woo! Yeah, bud. Uh, yeah, man. How long do you think that is? Oh, you put it in the face. Like like Rex would say. Enjoy those drone shots.
Toyota until tomorrow. You tracking? Treat him as your own. <laughs>